we are meeting uh, in uh, Bribe Island, which is not far from Brisbane. Eh? I got all the gear for camping. Bribe Island is not remote or anything, but it's my first time uh, camping solo. Let's see how it goes. guys I made it to the to the beach as you can see now we are driving on sand now is mm, approaching the high tide so it's not the best way the best time to drive on the beach but it's easier this way and that's it now I'm getting to the camp now I see you then all right guys we got to the spot and the wind is picking up so i don't know if i'm gonna go fishing but i'm gonna show you the spot i thought i could have the car near the next to my tent but i made the wrong booking near is the old space that's nice there's nobody around just me and there is this tree the three that's a little bit of shade which is good so i don't need to i don't need the awning we're going to the beach so if tonight the wind is gonna um it's gonna drop maybe i'm gonna go fishing so it looks like that one is a it's a gara so i think that spot might be good for fishing this is the the beach so if you go, I don't know if you can see it, that one down there is Caloundra, that one is Moriton Island, so we are between Sunshine Coast and Brisbane, the other way, and in front of us there is Moriton Island. Yeah, I'm gonna set up camp and I'll catch you later. I just finished uh, finished to set up the um, camp and I just want to show you how I did it and I'm gonna walk you through it so here there's a campsite up there we got the beach you can see the ocean from here there are three campsites here there is one maybe four so one two three and four yeah we got a fire pit that I'm gonna do it later before uh, before dark I got some wood from home I already chopped some Yeah, we got this wag. 
Then I like to put a mat on the floor, so sand doesn't go everywhere. This one is the grill, which I'm gonna use after on the top of the embers. Once they're done, and I'm gonna cook something. Hopefully, I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch something uh, when I go fishing. If I go fishing, then we got a table, a chair. There's the esky. Here we got the pot, and uh, here we have a, a cooker. There's a bag with the food, stuff, oil, spices pasta, veggies, and there's a guard. Pretty much it, eh? Woo! Time for lunch, boys. <clears throat> That's a uh, tomato sauce that I made at home with some uh, osso buco inside. Oh, look at that. I forgot the parmesan, so I'm gonna eat it without. Opa. Mm. It can get it can get any better. I'm ready to make some bread. So we got flour, flour, a bowl to mix. The yeast is inside, the water is there, and I'm gonna start making now. Hopefully we're gonna cook it uh, later on, most likely. So 280 grams of water, <coughs> 400 grams of flour, three grams of uh, yeast, fresh yeast. We got eight grams of salt to mix with the water dissolve the salt and then mix the water with the flour now that it's mixed we leave it rest for a while, like half an hour. And then we're gonna do the so-called stretch and fold, which means, anyway, I'm gonna show you. After uh, rested for uh, half an hour, 40 minutes, you need to do the stretch and fold. So basically, you wet your hands and you take, the bread, you stretch it and you fold it. 
right there. And now it becomes all smooth. If you want, you make a bowl. That's how it should be. We're gonna start with the fire. Here in Bribe Island, the fire is all only allowed in the fire pits. Each campsite has one, so that's okay. They're not allowed to take wood, but you need to bring your own. on the beach now trying to catch something I'm not very optimistic about it this wind is very annoying let's see right no bites yet Now we do the <coughs> final, final stage of the bread, which is the pre-shaping. And after that, we're gonna cook it as a bread. So, put it here, fold it, fold it, fold it. Hold it and then now we put it inside the basket, some flour on it.
All right. The bread should be ready. Let's see what we got here. Perfect. Not even burn. Beautiful. I wasn't expecting to to get a bread like this. It's just perfect. No fish caught, so tonight we're gonna have uh, chicken, chicken, corn, there's a sweet potato that I put on the, on the fire before, nice and soft now. All the juice inside. Buon appetito. It's been, uh, I have to say, a nice night. Yeah, I didn't feel cold. I slept pretty much all the way. And now it's early morning. I'm gonna have breakfast. And then uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know if going back home straight away or maybe stay a little bit longer the tide is coming up so i'm gonna have to leave soon i can do the other way around which i haven't done it before so maybe it might be an option or just eat the road back home
Okay guys, I tried to to go the other way around but the road is closed so I'm heading back the same way I came yesterday and pretty much it eh? Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.